Welcome to Smacky's Garage. Today we're going to be talking about the difference between battery chargers, battery maintainers, and trickle chargers. You will typically decide which battery tool you're going to use based on your use case. You know, using the wrong tool for the wrong use case could cause failure or it could cause damage to the product. So we're going to cover all three today. We're going to cover the charger, the maintainer, and the trickle charger. So the first one, the charger, Typically where you'd use a battery charger is an area where your battery has either been fully drained or is drained so much that it's going to have trouble starting the car. Where I typically use a battery charger is, you know, full dead battery in the car. Either I'm trying to get it fully charged back up again. I'm trying to recondition a battery or just topping it off because it was training very slowly. I think those are the three main use cases where I'd end up using a battery charger. The next one we're going to talk about is a battery maintainer. Battery maintainers and flow chargers are essentially the same thing. People use the words interchangeable between them. So where you'd want to end up using a battery maintainer is on a situation where you're going to leave your car sitting for a long period of time where you know it's going to have a, a full charge when you're setting it up and leaving it. So for myself, where I use a battery maintainer is when I'm leaving my car, like my 69 Mustang behind me, I'll leave the battery maintainer on it when I'm not driving it because I drive the car maybe once a week, once every other week. It's just good practice to keep the battery topped off. Realistically, I could probably go a month and then I'd probably start seeing some battery drain. So the recommendation is if you're leaving your battery or your car sitting for more than a month, that's when you'd want to use a battery maintainer or float charger. Let's talk trickle chargers. So you're looking for a trickle charger, you know, the most important thing that you look for is it's microprocessor or computer controlled or it's smart. You don't want to go with the olden style that just trickles the current in because there's a chance that it could overcharge your battery and end up in disaster for you. So make sure when you get a trickle charger, you're focused on finding one that is smart, that says battery maintainer or it says float charger on it to protect yourself and your battery. Now we're going to talk about what's the right current to use for your battery charger, battery maintainer. You know, when you buy the small bricks for the battery maintainer, battery charger in one, they're typically around two to four amps. That's great if you're going to be maintaining a battery, you want to top it off. You know, th those work well. If you're going for a battery that's completely dead, you're going to end up wanting to go with a 15 amp charger or something in the higher range. So let's say, 10 to 15 amps if you're going to be charging a battery from dead, maybe 2 to 4 amps if you're getting a battery charger maintainer built into one for maintaining batteries in your vehicles. Thanks for tuning in today on Smacky's Garage. I hope you found this educational and useful and you have a little bit more clarity around what a battery charger, a maintainer, and a trickle charger are and what the differences are. Till next time.